Hello! That's my lame intro. Sorry. Uh, this one is the box that I yanked out of my Zoe box. Or no. This is the mystery envelope that was a daily special from Zoe like two weeks ago that I assume would be in a separate thing, but it wasn't, so I just shoved it in a pretend envelope so I have something to pretend to pull it out so I can make some kind of lame video out of it. Because that's what I do. So the uh, special was Ghosts from the Past. Uh, two paranormal 8x10s for around, say, about 40 bucks it ran. Um, I think it went on sale like two weeks ago, which is when I, you know, finally got it. Um, so the risk with these Zobi Daily Specials are a good amount of the time. It's kind of like sloppy seconds from previous boxes. Um, why do I do them? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they're good value. I'm not going to, you know, say that they're garbage. They're definitely good value. It's just that if you buy every box, chances are very high you're going to get stuff you already got. So let's open this up and, uh, well, it's pre-opened, but uh, I don't really know what's in there because I saw a glimpse of it and just shoved it away and then put it in a box or envelope thing. So, let's see. Um, obviously this is not a Baldwin. Uh, that's probably the guy that smoked the cigarette and Beetlejuice. Um, the smoking corpse, so. That's cool. Um, so let's see what the other one is. This is the thing I kind of caught a glimpse of. Um, but let's, let's, uh, I'll do the lame thing where I, I let you see first and then I'll look. Oh, you know, what's funny. I, I thought it would be a Lola Rona autograph, um, which this is okay because I have the pop autographed. Um, and I'm cool with this. Uh, that's actually a cool image. And, oh, you know what? See, again, with the images, I just like a good quality, which that is super good quality right there. So I'm going to say this was actually a pretty good one right there. I'm pleased with this one right here. Uh, I think if I remember right, her name was Marisol Ramirez, maybe? I don't know. But uh, anything else in here? Just the little Beckett or J, whatever. It's either Beckett or JSA, I think it's JSA, the little autograph, uh, certificates of authenticity or whatever it is. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm kind of gearing up. I'm hoping that I can make it to Crypticon next week. It all depends if I'm able to get up there or not because I live in Oregon and it takes place in Seattle. So that's a little difficult and I don't drive. There's something you know about me right there. I don't drive. So that's the, the uh, trick that it's going to be to get up there. Because if I get up there, it's going to be rad. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to go on a Sunday because I did that last year and that was kind of a mistake because uh, half the people already left and uh, it was kind of at the tail end of it. So it was kind of eh. Um, but I feel like if I go on a Friday or Saturday, it's definitely going to be a madhouse in comparison to what I went to last year where it was pretty quiet, which I'm cool with. I don't want to be crammed in with a whole bunch of people, especially when, you know, there's the whole pandemic still going on. But uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my little two 8x10 video. Uh, again, that was a pretty gosh darn good one, so I'm pleased with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time.